in a special way. Uh, remember uh, Brother Kyle Quinn's Keep Him Before the Lord. Yes. Lord, bless his mind. Bless his mind. Yes. Continue to pray for the Mannings. Yes, pray for who? Bishop Manning and his wife. Yes, yes. He home now. Lord, bless him in my name. Mm -hmm. We don't always like David Riley. Yes. Um, Did he go on a trip? He went to Texas, but he got sick. Oh, um, no. See in the hospital? No, he didn't go to the hospital, but he's been like <laughs> I'm laying around on the bed all the way over there. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Uh, let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come and pray, Lord. Just to say thank you and praise you for your grace and mercy and love and kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being a very present help in the time of trouble and the time of need. We ask you, Lord, that you touch our hearts and our spirit, our souls, and our bodies. Bless us, Lord, as we continue to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord, save us, deliver us from all evil, from everything that is not like you. Bless each and every request, Lord, that's been made known, that your power and that your anointing may rest through and abide. Lord, we pray for all those that are sick and afflicted, that are going through their bodies, those that are facing calamities and tragedies, we ask that you bless, Lord, those that are oppressed and depressed. We ask you, Lord, that you show forth your hand, show forth your mighty hand in the name of Jesus. Bless our Bible study on tonight. Lord, we ask you to bless us clarity to fall in speech, anoint us, and touch our minds. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Lord. I want you to turn with me tonight uh, to the book of St. Matthew. Chapter 24. Matthew, St. Matthew, chapter 24. And we all know that that chapter deals with the signs of the coming of the Lord, the sign of the time. And but tonight, uh, the Lord uh, wants us to deal with uh, faithfulness. 
Sooner the better. Sooner the better. <laughs> 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 you know, I was, I was silly. I was silly at one time. I was, I was giving you some money. And, and this is uh, uh, when I uh, think the Ukraine war just started. And, and I was going to get some money. And I said, I said, Lord, don't come yet. Let me get that money. No, 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 no. That's my mind. No, we think like that sometimes. Amen? But now, we think like that, but now the sun is coming. No! Once again, once again, 
Once again, the reason why we ought to pray, because in the, in the days of Noah, the reason why God got them is because their heart and their mind was on evil power. Continuous. Continuous. They weren't praying. They weren't seeking after God. To the point where if God said himself, it repented me, yeah. uh, then I made it. Start with verse number eight. You know, when I read this, I couldn't wait to read this in Bible study. 
that the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand uh -huh. and redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Now God saved you and brought you out because he made promise. Huh? He first made promise, if you're allowed to say it this way, in this respect, to Abraham. When Abraham had the gospel preached unto him, uh, told, God told him uh, that, that from your seed, Abraham, as the father, uh, uh, I'm going to bless all the nations of the earth. Amen. 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 From your seed. Amen. Am I right? Uh, and God is faithful. Am I right? And redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Uh, now God redeemed us. From the hand of Pharaoh, king uh, of Egypt. Yeah, from the hand of the devil, God redeemed us. God redeemed us. But because the Lord loved you, uh, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, uh, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, yeah. and redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Wow, he redeemed us out of the house of the devil. Uh, we lived with him. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. We redeemed us out of this house. Amen. Mm -hmm. I read. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Read. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God. Now no, no, no. He said, no, in your heart of heart. Huh? Look at 
And 
the way maker. Yeah. It's good to remember that he's faithful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dependent. Mm -hmm. That he doesn't lie. Mm -hmm. Impossible for him to lie. Yeah. Impossible. Am I right? Yeah. And that he's faithful. Unchangeable. Unchangeable <laughs> in you. considers us his friend. Yeah. And the 
Bible says a friend loveth at all times. Yeah. Not just in the good times. Not just in the bad, at all times. Yeah. And God loves us at all times. All times. Do we believe that? Amen. At all times. Amen. 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 Yes, he loved me when I'm dead and I trust him. When he talks about uh, us being faithful, he told, he told, he told, <coughs> y'all remember Aaron and Miriam. Did y'all know Miriam uh, in the Greek is Mary? Mm -hmm. Y'all know that?
God is delaying, and he really yes. has it. Our heart should be as his heart for the lost. And anybody that would try to set a date, we can rebuke them in such a way. I'm in no hurry because I want to find the lost for Jesus. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. <laughs> Amen. No hurry. Thank you. We, we want more time to get the lost. Salvation of the Lord is long suffering. Amen. Amen. All right, read. Which keepeth covenant uh -huh. and mercy with them that love him. Now no, no. He keeps covenant and mercy with them that love. Love him. Love him. Amen. We yeah. gotta love him. All the time. Uh, all right. With all of our heart, all our mind, mind, soul, soul, every part of it. Uh, with everything. everything. Amen. Love him with everything. Because if you don't, that portion that you're trying to keep away is the portion that's going to destroy it. Mm. Gotta get in everything. Amen. God is the God of everything. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Um, I had one preacher tell me, he said, Frank, when I do it in my house, it's my business. When I do it in God's house, it's his business. Mm. <laughs> he was trying to mention me. I said, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we as humans have the, we always say God is love. Uh -huh. Going back on what you said earlier about keeping covenant. You know, God wants us to be faithful as he's faithful to us. Yeah. And we feel that because God is God and he's full of love. Yeah. You know, we can get away sometimes. You know, I can do this and God got to forgive me because yeah. he's full of love. Yeah. But God also have rules for us to follow. You know, he have rules for us to follow. And, and God is a God of judgment too. Yeah. That's also showing love. Mm -hmm. And that's the part we neglect. Yeah. You know, God is showing us love when he brings judgment against us yeah. or when he has to judge us. So yeah. God is, he is love, yeah. but God will judge you for your deeds too. You Absolutely. will reap what you sow. Amen. He calls that instruction. When, when the judgment of God comes upon your life mm -hmm. for being out of the way, he calls that, God calls that instruction. But it's still love. Yeah, that. He's instructing you. Mm -hmm. uh, He's teaching you. Mm -hmm. Taking you to the outhouse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We seem to forget the, that part. The best thing that just, what keeps coming to mind is the story of uh, Hosea and Gomer. The, the covenant God had with, that he has with us. But he also showed Gomer how to put down his pride to chase after his wife who was a harlot. And he kept coming, and he kept coming after her. She'd go out and have a baby. They have a baby. She'd go back out in the streets. He went after her. The Lord instructed him to go after her. Yeah. But even, even if you, when you get into the second chapter of Hosea, he says, I even had to drive up her ways because she thought it was this lover who was giving her her oils and this lover who was giving her her wines and this lover who was providing this, he says, she don't even realize I'm the one that gave him that. Mm. Yeah. So even, even in that, he loved her, but he also called her a harlot. Yep. He called her Excellent. a harlot. Yeah, yes, he did. Yeah. God loves us also. Yes. But he, he, he corrects us in to all. 
and start That's right. to turn our hearts to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Amen. Uh, that's what's called the peaceable fruits mm-hmm. of righteousness. Right. Go ahead. I think it's uh, so powerful to say God as a God of balance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because God has the capacity for constant and immediate judgment, mm-hmm. but usually operates in mercy. Yeah. <laughs> because He's always righteous. Always. So, and we are often not. Yes. Yes. So he can immediately be justified in dealing with us harshly. Thank you. But thank God for mercy. Yeah. Right. And so, so when you were ta- even talking earlier about watch and pray, that's balance. Back. Because you can be praying, but you've got to watch when you drive. Yeah. Right? You, got to, you, know, you use the example of, uh, what's his, of uh, Jacob and Leah and Rachel. Yeah. And I jokingly said to Elder uh, Crosby when I said, he should have been watching more. Because <laughs> he would have realized that that was Leah, not Rachel. <laughs> How many times have we been saying we're spiritual but aren't using balance? And we spiritually praying for something that our bank account can't handle yet. Yeah. There's a balance of what God is wanting us to live like as well. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Lord, help us. Yeah. And, and help us to keep covenant with God. Amen. That means something. Like, like Brother uh, Wall said, it, it's high. Uh, it's high. It means something. Somebody died for our <laughs> Go ahead. One scripture actually says, the Lord with you as you are with me. Yeah. If you seek me, your whole heart will find me. Find me. I'll be with you as you be with me. Yeah. That's, so that's, so that's, a, that's a part of the cover. Oh. Some people. They know, and they know it's faithful. <laughs> that's the Bible saying. Amen. Yeah. He's faithful to who he is and to what he said. Amen. And he will do <laughs> He will perform. Yes, he will. Amen. Oh, yes, he will. The performance. Even, even with, with uh, Abraham did it, uh, uh, Isaac did it, uh, and I believe Jacob did it. When their lives, they feared would, would be taken by a king, by somebody else. They said, Don't be my sister. Because I'm scared you're going to kill me. But God told me, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your seed. Did you tell them that? Mm-hmm. So, you know, sometimes our, our, our need and emotion is all out of that to say. It doesn't hinge on the way we act or the way we, our lifestyle. Yeah. That's when, because God knows that we're human, his mercy kicks in. Yeah. You know, and he let us, he, he continued performing for us. Oh. Because it, it, he knows that as a, of ourselves, we're weak. 
Yes. And our mind get washy sometimes. God yes. knows all of that. Yes. So he have mercy upon us. So whatever we do, whether it's good or bad, it's not going to stop God's promises concerning us. Yes. I like what she said. And it's true. Our mind does get good. Yes. Our mind does get washy yes. sometimes. I think the, the beloved apostle Paul, when he said, oh, wretched man that I am. Yep. You know, he had to think about his circumstance, right? And realize that he was wretched. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm sure that his wretchedness, mm -hmm. uh, the way he was, kind of troubled him. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Here he goes again.
Mother Jane? Hey! I think at a time when there was times when I tried to get the victory over things. Yeah. And like I just couldn't get the victory. Yeah. And I kept messing up. And I would go before the Lord. I said, Lord, I messed up again. Every time I would acknowledge <laughs> that I had made a mistake. And I would go before the Lord and I said, Lord, I messed up again. Please help me to not go there anymore. Yeah. And I prayed that prayer for so long, I don't even know when I stopped praying. As a matter of fact, I'm still praying. Yeah. I'm still praying that same prayer, but yeah. sort of like in a different way, you know. But yeah, once you acknowledge, you know, that you're wrong and you repent right away, God will help you. I'm a witness. I couldn't, it's like I couldn't stand on my own two feet, you know, and I kept, I kept messing up. And I said, Lord, please help me. I don't want to keep hurting you. I don't want to keep letting you down. I want to be steadfast. I want to be unmovable. Help me to stand. And God bless. Yeah. We don't know how hard it is to join us because we have to do that. Yes. Uh, in order to get help. Yes. Because God resists the pride. Yes. Yep. But He gives grace to the heart. Holy yes. Ghost. Uh, if I ever acknowledge God, I'm wrong. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, God, 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 I lost my way. Oh, Sean. Uh, God, I need your help. Right now, Lord. Right, right now. now. mercy upon David. Yes. The Lord, I said, Lord, you said David is a, the, a man of your own, of your heart, if you know what, how the scripture goes. Yes. And I couldn't understand that. And the Lord let me know, David was one that repented right away. Yes. David was, he had a repenting heart. Yes. And if you come before God, you first you got to acknowledge no. that you was wrong. Yeah. That you did, that you let the Lord down. Yeah. And the Lord revealed that to me. You got to acknowledge, you got to admit to yourself that you were wrong. Yeah. You know, and then you come before me and ask me for help. I have to help you. Help. I have to. That's my nature. I have to help you. And notice the principle of God. That if you ask him, uh, if you ask him, of something good, he won't give you a serpent. I know it doesn't sound like that, but you got to wear a mask. Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. Ask the bread, would you give him a serpent? Yeah. He'll give you what you need. Yes, he will. That's his principle. Yes. Right. Huh? He wants you to be like right. Jesus. That's right. <laughs>
he knew the Lord himself. Yeah. I, I am wrong. I'm even, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm able to accept this correction mm -hmm. and still be able to come before God and say, Lord, thank you for even sending somebody to come tell me I was wrong. Yeah. My father didn't move on. Oh, I thought I did him. Oh, oh, that was you. Oh, my God. I was just, I was just thinking of the two that were in a, in a service. I don't know where they were at, but the one was saying, I thank God that I wasn't like this one or that yeah. one. And the other one pounded his chest yeah. and said, thank you, Lord, that forgive me a sinner yeah. and repented. And, and God himself said, this man is more justified. Absolutely. Because he did. Amen. 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 Bishop, that's what it's all about. Repentance. Repentance. When John the Baptist came on the scene, that was the first thing he preached. Amen. Huh? And that's what God wants all of us to come to. Yeah. Because we have all seen it. All sin. And come short of the glory of God. God wants us to repent. Yeah. Huh? And if we were repent, he said, if you're faithful to confess your sins, he's faithful to forgive us. All right. Huh? Yes, he is. And so that's what he's looking for, repentance. Absolutely. And you know, I've even come to a point myself, right, where thoughts go through my mind, we are talking about simple thoughts, but thoughts that, that, that aren't correct. Huh? I repent. So Lord, you repent. I ain't talking about sin. No. I ain't talking about thoughts. I ain't talking about religion. I ain't talking about life. Huh? It's fun. Why? 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 Because I don't want anything to come in between me and him. That's right. right. I need him. Come on, my God. Come on, my God. Huh? Come on, my God. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, y'all. Y'all are spiritual. You sure have some. He needs me too. Yes, sir. Mm, that's right. God needs you too. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Uh, that's right. He needs you. Mm -hmm. He calls you a co laborer. Come on now. <laughs> that's right. Come on. That's, right. Come on. Right. that's why he wants us to be faithful. That's it. That's right. it. That's right. He needs to show himself strong in you. That's it. That's right. Amen. Uh, he needs you. Yes. That's why he doesn't just speak well. Yep. Uh, and just think about God is wise. God is wise. Right? Yes. If anything you invest in, if it's going bad, you ain't trying to destroy it. Right. You're trying to repair it. Right. You're trying to help it. Yeah. You're trying to get it straight. Used to say to repent means to go back to the highest place of your thinking. 
the penthouse of yeah. the thinking. <laughs> and so we need to go back there because that's where God resides. Yeah. That's where we can commune with God yeah. and hear God and we rethink and we do different. Yeah. We can cry. I have cried many times. Oh, I and got up and was doing the same thing before I got home. Oh. But when I rethink, it's a bit, see, I don't want to sound overly carnal when I say this, but sometimes it's a business decision. Yes. God wants business decisions made by yeah. his people. God has made a decision to invest yeah. in convene or covenant or contract with us. Mm -hmm. He yeah. made a business investment. Yeah. He yeah. wants an ROI, yeah. a return on that investment yeah. from us. Yeah. You know, and we have to sometimes rethink. If you're a business person, if you were a business person, you started, you had your business, COVID comes, what you got to do? Rethink, rethink your business or your ministry if you're going to survive. Yeah. And so God, again, it's, the, it's that repentance is not tears all only. Yeah. It's a rethinking of your heart yeah. and going back to that highest place. Absolutely. There was a, when, I, when I made that statement about God investing in you, yeah. that was my mindset. Business situation is gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Business is right. That's right. Uh, when, he says, when he said about repentance, I was dealing with one brother, and he would do things wrong, and he would cry out the storm. trying to influence your feeling toward yeah. him by crying like, like that. that. He wanted your pity. Yeah. yeah. That's why the scripture says, the scripture says he got to confess it and he got to confess it. All right, let's move on. Come on, Facebook. Facebook. Which, I'll read 9, right. 10 and 9, verse 9. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Which keep his covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Now, that's what we were talking about. We we're talking about faithfulness. Yes. And faithfulness with God is covenant relationship. Yes. Amen. Yes. We are in a covenant relationship with God. Yes. All right? Yes. He saved us. That was on him. We didn't have to do anything for him, right? But he expects something out of us now that we're in position. Am I right? And he redeemed us to himself. Huh? <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? He didn't redeem you so you can do what you want to do. He redeemed you so you can do what he wanted. He wants you to do. Am I right? When, when, when Moses went to Pharaoh, said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Right? Moses, Pharaoh asked Moses, but what are you going to do? Moses said, we're going to leave here and go worship. What did he say? When God sets you free from Pharaoh, he wants you to worship him. Mm -hmm. 
to get out of it, uh -huh. you know, if you try to get out of the test that God has allowed that to come to you, then once you get to the top of the mountain, you'll never know why things happen the way it did. Uh -huh. God give you insight on your climate, yeah. mm -hmm. and he'll give you a, a revelation as to why this happened on your way up, that happened on your way up. He give you insight and revelation. So if you get out of it, you'll never get the knowledge and the revelation of God. Yeah. If you try to get out of it. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. You know why it's powerful? Because with God, it's about teaching more. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's about yeah. teaching more. Right. Yep. Uh, Jesus is a master teacher. Yeah. Yeah. He teaches us. Amen. We go. And, and when we learn best is through experience. That's it. Huh? Amen. You with us? Uh, you got a memory in you. Uh, that, that when you experience bad things, it's a memory in you that causes you when that situation comes again. Hopefully, if you learn, ah, uh -huh. they didn't done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, go back. No more. Uh, experience. Sometimes those experiences come to you in a dream. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs>